I think it's important to know this about Josh Rosen. Um, he's very, very, very well respected by his coaches and his teammates because we see on a, see on a daily basis uh, his commitment, his work ethic, his attitude, uh, his passion for football. We also know that he's an incredibly intelligent young man that does have opinions. And um, oftentimes those opinions are, are conveyed to others because he is – he is trying to bring attention to some that are maybe less fortunate or have less than he does that at times maybe he feels are, are taken advantage of. And, uh, you know, what the message to Josh is, is it's okay to have opinions. And as a 20 year old, you're going to have opinions now that maybe you don't have when you're 22, 23, 30, 50, 60, that are maybe different than when you were 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Um, but, when you express those opinions in a public forum and, you know, part of the learning process is, is sometimes saying things that, that come back to bite you a little bit. bit. And uh, that doesn't mean you can't have opinions and that doesn't mean that you can't work behind the scenes to try to make things better for everybody. And I'll tell you this, Dan, I wish you knew Josh as I know him and as his teammates know him and as his coaches know him because he is an empathetic young man who cares deeply about his teammates. And he realizes that all his teammates have not had, the opportunities that he's had in life. Um, and he wants to try to increase those opportunities for them. And, and everything that Josh says comes, at least says now, he said some things in the past, but I think he's matured to the point where everything that he says comes from a very, very good, good place. And, uh, you know, Dan, you're in the media. I've, I've worked in the media and, and we know that at times our words can get twisted. They can get taken out of context. I'm not saying that is what happened here at all. But we have to understand, uh, Josh has to understand, I have to understand every time I say something that, that people are going to interpret it a certain way. For instance, when I was on your show a few years ago, and I was talking about Stanford, and you brought up USC, <laughs> who we just played, and I, don't, and I said, I don't give a rat's behind about the team we just played. And, you know, everybody turned it into a shot at USC when, in fact, I just wanted to talk about the next game. You remember that, remember? You got the shirt up. You, you remember. Oh, that's right. So, we made T-shirts out fault, of that. But, that but that's that's right. my fault. Yeah. I know you did. You, <laughs> you had fun with it, and I, and I bore the brunt of it. So, you know, I use those opportunities every chance I get with our players to demonstrate that our words, the, wor- the things that we say, we have to own. So we have to be careful what we say. That doesn't mean we can't have an opinion. But we have to – and if we have an opinion – Let's try to also offer solutions. And, and Josh is always trying to offer solutions, but those are not covered the way his opinions are covered. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience. <laughs>